Before you do this, uh, what you'll want to check is going to be the, the, the mandible itself, its shape. So to evaluate, we're going to, you're going to, you want to feel the overall shape of the mandible. And what, what you'll often notice after releasing the, this nerve is that it'll, it'll be a little more full along the mandible on that particular side that you did. All right, now I want to I want to show you a way to uh, release the jaw through the uh, inferior alveolar nerve, and that comes out through the mental foramen, and it goes. It, it it's part of the mandibular branch of the trigeminal nerve, and it comes into the mandibular foramen and then exits here through the mental uh, mental foramen. So as it goes through the mandibular canal. And, and it's not just the nerve, you also have, you also have ves blood vessels here. So uh, what, what we're going to do is what, we're going to place a hand over near where that, uh, you want to be medial to, to the foramen where that nerve is coming out of. With your other hand, you're going to place it uh, one over, make sure you have your finger pads over this region so that you can feel as you move the nerve where it's going into the mandibular foramen on the on the in medial aspect of the mandible into the canal and then from there you can feel as you move your finger back and forth and tug on the nerve where it may be getting caught or stuck and then holding it uh, taking it to a direction of ease until you feel it relax and then you can go back and recheck to see how the motion is through the canal in addition once you've released that then the, re the rest of your hand uh, lays over, over the region where uh, as you tug on the nerve, you want to be able to feel deep into the head and, and feel for the trigeminal ganglion that's sitting on Meckel's cave. So that is a way to isolate uh, this branch of the trigeminal nerve and then uh, release that. So in this case, having released the the right inferior alveolar nerve, uh, it, it's brought out the mandible uh, and, and allowed the, the bone itself to, to be a little bit more full. Uh, and, and there's a softening there. Once you've done that, you can do the other side if needed and then, uh, and then continue from there.